So three three-minute rounds in this World Championship semi-final. Clemente Russo in blue, Tamer Mamadov in red, fighting for Azerbaijan. Russo is keeping his guard high. If you saw the quarterfinals and some of his other fights, it, his hands were down by his sides, almost like uh, a gunslinger waiting to use his pistols. But he's going to be careful with Mamadov. He's got a big reputation, Mamadov. He is the number one seed in the world right now. Russo, number four. Southpaw Mamadov, very rangy, great long reach. Almost negated by Russo. Russo, classic form. Oh, oh, sticks his tongue out. How do you like that? Punches him in the face and says, that doesn't hurt me. Look at Russo shaking his head again. He's so cocky in the way he fights. A lot of confidence being displayed by the Italian. But his mind's working all the time. Both prominent medal winners in recent major events. So high class levels of skill we'll be looking to see. Big left hand comes round the outside, almost Tyson-esque the way he threw that. Russo shaping up to be a real Rocky Balboa. Tight orthodox stance. Nose. He's going to have to protect the head against a taller man. But just look at the respect Mamadov is giving him. Even though he's got that reach advantage, he's not that quick to try and get in and engage. And that's why, because that's where the power resides. Just look at the musculature of Russo and the power that's potentially available to him. Tight, comes inside, throws those power shots. As I said, Tyson-esque. Mamadov does carry forward from the quarterfinals here. There's a slight graze under his eye. Uh, now that's uh, nowhere near as dangerous as a cut above the eye. Oh, goodness me, Russo charging in there. He'll try and duck under that jab and get inside, and that's where we'll see the punching power. It's a great style of boxing, a great classic style of boxing. Russo across between Tyson, across between Marciano, across between Joe Frazier, all of those great, great champions. And you look at Russo, and if you squint your eyes, he's got it all there, so tight. And just look at that explosive attacking left-right combination. So at the end of round one, uh, this will be interesting to see how the judges score it. Mamadov just feeding him the jab, using that three, four centimeter reach advantage that he's got over Russo. And Russo starting to find his confidence near the end of the round. That was a great left shot to Mamadov when he managed to corner him into the ring. They get him into the, the corner of the ring, rather. And, uh, well, well, how do you think the judges are going to see this one? Well, two clashing styles. I mean, you can see now the numbers are up. Yeah, indeed. It's 10-9 uh, to Russo. Aggression, clean punches, and uh, I think that's a pretty fair reflection. Mamadov is going to have to work a lot harder and try and uh, get some combinations going, more than just that left jab. He's got to give a lot of respect to Russo because he's a hard hitter. So we're underway in the second round. Tamer Mamadov from Azerbaijan in red. Clemente Russo, the hard-hitting Italian in blue. Big left goes over the top. Mamadov, all he can do just to get out of range. That's an absolute bomb that Russo is throwing there. Back on his toes now. And the Italian drops his hands. Gets back on his toes. Great body shot, right hand thunders in to the midsection of Mamadov. He's a real powerhouse, a coiled spring, just waiting to unload Russo. Again goes down for the midsection, and again goes down low, comes up high, and that left hook, very, very dangerous, could be a deciding factor. Oh, 
Look at the speed, the hand speed. The left hand catches the temple of Mamadov. I'm surprised Mamadov just isn't feeding him that right jab all the time, just trying to keep him at bay. Oh, tags uh, Russo there as he comes in. Russo smiles again. You uh, have to enjoy his style. Well, Mamadov does drop a punch, but Russo able to get that left hook off again. Well, of all the boxers in this tournament, I think Russo is one of them that would be most happy the fact that headgear's gone. His aggressive style can really pay off now. Judges are scoring very heavily in favour of Russo because of the aggression here. Look at that big left, right, and then a left, working both body sections and scoring in both body sections with each exchange. Good solid connections in technical areas. And Russo, well, starting to be, again, a cut above Mamadov in terms of technique and style. Mamadov doesn't have an answer to this. Well, Mamadov is the number one ranked boxer in this tournament, of course. A lot of that uh, ranking comes from previous fights when it was a different scoring system. With the open and transparent system employed now in Aiba, working so well. Five randomly selected judges of whom three are chosen for their scores. The non-use of head guards means judges are scoring for number of quality blows, technique, domination, style and form. And all of those adjectives describe the man from Italy. So that's the end of round two, just one three minute round to come. Uh, Russo goes back to his corner. And uh, I'd imagine this uh, second round, the judges will score it in favor of Russo again. He's just so aggressive. And Mamadov, I wonder what his coaches are telling him now. Well, we can see the strategy was obviously to keep out of danger, try and use that range, try and use the height advantage to keep Russo away. But Russo's just so explosive and dynamic. And just every time he gets the opportunity, he's there. It's almost as if you're trying to avoid a train crash. I mean, just great work from the Italian. Yeah, and the only two times he's caught him, he's either stuck his tongue out or smiled and winked at him, just saying, you don't have the power. And here you go, the judges have reflected that. 9-10 across the board, 18-20. It's two rounds to nil to Russo at the moment. And this bull of a fighter. It looks like he's going to be marching on to the finals. One round to turn it around for Azerbaijan's Tamer Mamadov in red. Clemente Russo of Italy in blue. Big oh. left hand. That's the opening gambit. And another one. Goes downstairs, brings it up again. Well, in many a famous boxing movie, <laughs> of yore, they've talked about the eye of the tiger, but here, come se dice in Italiano, il bocca di lupo, the mouth of the wolf. Italy's Russo, hunting Mamadov down now in this final round. Well, if this was Mamadov's plan in the final round, I, I don't think it's gonna turn this fight around. He needs to get busy, two minutes to go. See, the big danger for Mamadov is if he gets too involved and too engaged, he's in really serious danger of being stopped. Just too much power available to the Italian. And it's the leverage, it's the way his stance allows him to go down low and come back up. And it's that that's adding value added to the power in the way in which Russo hits. Again. Oh. Yeah, massive clubbing left hand there to the side of Mamadov's head. And uh, he'll be thinking about that one for a while. Under 90 seconds to go now. And at the moment, it's Russo's round again. Absolutely. And for Mamadov, he's got an option, and that is, <laughs> do I finish the fight upright or not? And I mean, seriously, that's what it's, it's, it's come down to, because Russo just dominating this.
and Mamadov has had the serious problem of having to drop his guard to protect himself from those scathing body shots. We've not seen heavy hitting body shots in this tournament thus far. Oh, right hand connects. And Russo, he shakes it and smiles at him. <laughs> Almost saying, do you want some more of this? And anyway, it's, it's phenomenal from Russo. Well, almost a touch of arrogance here. We've seen that from a few of the Italian fighters. Love it or hate it, it's effective. What a great display of skill. And if you're watching this, as you probably are at home, thinking, how high can a demonstration of technical skill be? Well, Italian fighter Russo absolutely showboating here as the round ticks out. Well, just four or five seconds to go, and Russo knows he's won this. Off another big hit on Mamadov. And you can see now with no headgear and the 10-point mass system, you can get this brilliant style from someone like Russo. He has no fear of being touched and tagged and losing points because his power and his aggression, they count for just so much. Well, in the replay, the power and aggression that you talk of really apparent here. Mamadov paid too much respect, I think, and lost an opportunity, and it became apparent to him that he was in real danger of being stopped. So we go to the centre for our referee's decision from the judges. Going on to the final in the men's heavyweights, Clemente Russo. 9-10 across the board, an absolute whitewash there. He smiles with Mamadov, no more showboating. He's a, a good sport in the end. And he will be a fascinating boxer to have in the final. Bravo, well done to Mamadov, the number one seed here. But when it comes to power and aggression, Clemente Russo, he just can't be beaten in this weight category.